from today in the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor again for me. Say, my brother. Say, my brother. Glow unlimited. Glow unlimited. Praise the Lord. Father, speak your word through my mouth today and let your people be blessed. As I go into your word, use me, Lord, O God, to be a blessing to them. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Let me go straight to verse 8 because of time. John chapter 3, verse 8. The Bible says, The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but cannot tell where it cometh and where it is good. So it's everyone that is born of the Spirit. Ask your neighbor for me, are you born of the Spirit? Ask him loud and clear, are you born of the Spirit? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to preach a message to you this morning. I try to glow on limited. And as you hear the word, the Lord will bless you in that, that this word is for. If things have limited you in the past years, things have uh, restricted you in the time past, but from today, you will begin to glow in the name of Jesus. Say, I will begin to glow from today. Say, I will glow in an unlimited way. Say it to yourself, I will glow in an unlimited way. Say, no more limitations. No more limitations. In my life, in the name of Jesus. There is something that we call the wind. And Jesus was talking to Nicodemus in John chapter 3. And he told him about the wind. He said, the wind, though, is listed. But no one can tell where the wind is coming from. No one can tell where the wind is going to. There is somebody here. Nobody that will be able to tell how colorful your destiny is going to be from today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. To somebody's life under the sound of my voice. In this next year that we are entering, your star will shine brighter in the name of Jesus. I say your star will glow brighter in the name of Jesus. You will become unlimited in your finances in the name of Jesus. You will be you will become unlimited in your marriage in the name of Jesus. You will become unlimited in your health in the name of Jesus. Say to the ears of your neighbor, say, I am unlimited. unlimited. Clap your neighbor by the side and say, I am unlimited. unlimited. Clap your neighbor by the shoulder and say, my friend, I am unlimited from today. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. The wind, the wind, the wind bloweth where it listed. Friends, I want to let you know that your destiny is already written. Amen. It's written in the pages of scriptures. Somebody say, Pastor, what does God say about my future? He said, I should tell you that the thought that I have towards you is thought of peace, of good, of glorious things, and you will fulfill it in the name of Jesus. Amen. He asked me to tell you this morning that it does not matter what people are telling you. The lie. What God is saying about your life is what is going to stand. He asked me to tell you this morning that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, that it has not entered into the heart of any man, any woman, not even the neighbor that is sitting beside you, that can comprehend the extent to which your destiny is going to show. I said no one can comprehend this extent to which your destiny is going to shine. Yeah. If you believe me, shout a glow. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout an unlimited hallelujah. I want to talk about wind so you understand the extent to which you are going to go this year, new year we are entering into. Wind has a force. The power Behind the wind is beyond what woman can comprehend. There is a spiritual backup that the wind has that he uses to operate. The wind has strength. 
it has unusual strength to bring a thing to bear. The wind has energy, a burning energy, a strong energy to bring a thing to bear. The wind has the capacity to persuade you to another level. And that is the level you are going in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing I want you to know about the wind is that the wind is quick. So I want to tell you that what God is going to be doing in your life through this word is going to be quick and powerful in the name of Jesus. Amen. The wind has the capacity to hurt with speed. In 2016, in the next year we are going into, I prophesy to somebody here, speed for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The wind is fast in action. The wind arose, and when it arose, it arose quickly. It happens very quick, in quick succession. That is what will be happening for you in terms of prosperity. Amen. This new year that we are entering in the name of Jesus. Another thing about the wind is that the wind is powerful. The wind is powerful. It's full of power. And it's great with power. Not only great with power, the wind is great with influence. Not only great with influence, the wind is great with prestige. Not only great with prestige, the wind is heavy. The wind is not only heavy, the wind is mighty. The wind is not only mighty, the wind is strong. The wind is not only strong, the wind is dynamic. The wind is not only dynamic, the wind is explosive. Something is going to explode in your finances. In this new year that we are entering in the name of Jesus. The wind is energetic. The wind is, is vigorous. Very, very vigorous. I pray over somebody today that you will begin to shine in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I said you will begin to shine in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Wind can be described as a force. Wind can be described as an influence. Wind can be replaced with the word urgent or agent of uh, transportation. Wind can be natural, it can be artificial. Wind changes the location of the thing. That means your location is changing as we are entering this new year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wind forces a man's status to change. I prophesy to your status. This new year we are entering is changing for good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wind moves a man upward. You are going higher this new year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wind does not allow a man to be stagnant. I rebuke stagnant, stagnation in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen, I prophesy. Amen. I say I prophesy to you this morning. Amen. The wind that will change your location begin to blow. Amen. The wind that will change your, your location begin to blow. Amen. The wind that will change your finances begin to blow. Amen. The wind that will blow a man from Nigeria to abroad begin to blow to your land. I repeat, the wind that will blow you from the new city to outside the country, receive the wind in the name of Jesus. The wind that will blow your helper to your land, begin to blow in the name of Jesus. The wind that blow agents of the devil away from a man's life, Begin to blow your life in the name of Jesus. The wind that blow a man from one spot to the limelight. Begin to blow your life in the name of Jesus. The wind that blow favor into your life. Begin to blow. The wind that blow favor into a man's life. Begin to blow. The wind that blow increases into a man's life. Begin to blow. Blow, blow good air. Begin to blow into your life. If you believe that, shout aloud, hallelujah. Before I close, I need to tell you what are the characteristics of being born in the Spirit. Nicodemus went to Jesus and Jesus said, except a man be born of the Spirit. And he said, what does it mean for a man to be born of the Spirit? I'm going to tell you this morning. You need to be spiritual. How can a man be spiritual? You engage in things of the spirit. 
How can a man engage in things of the spirit? The man needs to be involved in spiritual exercises. What is spiritual exercises? We have physical exercises. Jogging, running, you know, they are what? They are physical exercises. And they all have their profit, their benefit. But the spiritual exercise that you need to be involved in, number one, you have to be prayerful. You have to be prayerful in the morning, in the noon, in the night, in the midnight. As we cross to the new year, what you need to be doing at this time is to be prayerful. Because God is going to be telling you what He's going to do in 2016. He's going to be telling you what you will do, the business you will go into. What will not profit you? Tell your neighbor, be prayerful. Be prayerful. Number two, be studyful. Be studyful. When you are studying the word of God, you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. This is the way, walk in it. The word of the Lord, they roam all around the pages of the scriptures. As you are reading, you will be hearing. As you are reading, you will be hearing. You will never see in John, you will never see in the Bible, leave your village and go to the city. No. You will never see it in the Bible, go from Benin City and go to Lagos. Because there is no Benin in the Bible. There is no Lagos in the Bible. But in the Bible you will see what God is saying. Leave your father's house as Abraham lived and go to a land that I will show you. In the Bible, the voice of the Lord will be hovering around your head in the name of Jesus. Amen. The last one that people don't like to do is fasting. Tell your neighbor, be fasting fool. I want you to say it loud and clear. Be fasting fool. Be fasting fool. Be fasting fool. Friends, very soon we are going to be eating rice and chicken and uh, all that time. Please get yourself set. This is the time to wait on the Lord. Seek His face and know what He's saying about 2016. I cannot tell you, this new year we are entering. Your status will change for the better. Amen. If you are the one you know your status is changing, jump on your face and begin to shout hallelujah. Shout, shout, shout hallelujah. Repeat after me, say, Father, in 2016, I will glow. Double you. Say in 2016, I will glow unlimited. Tell your neighbor for me, say my friends, in 2016, I profess that to your life. Profess that to your neighbor. Say I profess that to your life. In 2016, you will glow. You will glow. Unlimited. In your finances. You will glow. Unlimited. In your marriage. You will glow. Unlimited. In 2016. You will glow. In your home. You will glow. In your career. You will glow. In your business. You will glow. You will glow. You will glow. Ask your neighbor, which network are, are you using from today? Ask your neighbor, your neighbor, glow network. Say, I have switched my neighbor. I have switched to glow. Glow unlimited. Say, I have left stagnation network. I have left frustration network. I am now in glow unlimited. Tell your neighbor, glow for me, brother. Glow for me, sister. Because, because from today, I am glow unlimited. Shout hallelujah. I'm going
to me on the internet, you have not given your opportunity, don't let this year end without you receiving Jesus. Lift up your hands and well, I would like to pray for you. You want to accept Jesus into your life today, please raise up your hand very gently wherever you are and repeat this word after me. God bless you. God bless those hands. Raise your hands. You want to surrender to Jesus. You want to give your life to Jesus. I want to pray with you. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I give you my life today. Write my name in the book of life. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. From today, I will serve you forever in Jesus' name. I pray for you that grace that brought you, that same grace preserve you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will bless you and whatever is the challenge of your life, it is over today in the name of Jesus. Amen. For those of us listening to me on the internet, my name is Pastor Samuel Olaleri, and I want you to know that Jesus, for questions, or you want to get in contact with me, just call me on plus 234 805 716 The number again is plus 234 805 Seven one six nine three eight three. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Jesus.